Hi, this is Raj from MR Sports Cars. Here I've got an absolutely stunning Porsche 981 Cayman GTS. Finished in absolutely stunning Guards Red. The paint code's L84A. Slightly different from the earlier era Guards Red cars. Um, less orange in it than some of the earlier cars of the 80s, but it's got, it has got the same name. Also known as uh, Indian, Indian Red as well. But to most people it's known as Guards Red in the UK. And you can see it looks absolutely stunning in this colour. Really nice set of options. This is an October 2014 car, which means it's a 2015 model year car by chassis number. Uh, three previous owners, quite low mileage as well. Um, on the outside, it's got some really nice options. So it's got the black edition PDLS headlights. So they rot rotate as you go around corners, that top bezel there. And it's speed sensitive as well. It's got the exterior black pack, which is all of the exterior plastics, including this special GTS front bumper. Um, all of the plastics are painted in gloss black. The headlight washers are also in gloss black. The wing mirror bases, all of this lovely uh, window trim to be finished. It, it's called black line, but it's aluminium with painted gloss black as well from the factory. Uh, side vents are also gloss black. It's got the gloss black badging as well from the factory, which looks really nice. The lower splitter as well is at the rear is also, the rear diffuser I should say, is also gloss black. Um, the tailpipes are the sports exhaust tailpipes and they're finished in satin black. Um, it's got the darkened glass rear, rear lights, rear wiper as well, which is another separate option. And then it's got the absolutely stunning 911 Turbo 3 diamond cut alloy wheels from the factory with brand new Pirelli P0 N1s that we've just fitted. The rears have also been fitted in the last few hundred miles as well. So it's got a brand new set of Pirelli P0 N1s all round. With it being the GTS, it has the larger brake setup with the guards red calipers with, with Porsche lettering on them as well. Discs and pads are all good all round, fully checked out. And yeah, they've got lots of life left in them all round this car's always been looked after at Porsche main dealers. It's also got the GTS um, door stickers as well, which again, haven't been altered from the factory. So really nice to see this car is all original on the outside and also on the inside. On the inside, you can see it's got the full GTS interior package. So that's half Alcantara, half extended leather. So you've got leather all across the doors dashboard, center console, on the seats. And then Alcantara on the middle of the seats, on the center of the armrest, the lower part of the dashboard as well. So everywhere below the trim line is all Alcantara as well as on the doors as well, including the armrest there. So yeah, really nice interior. Um, the stitching is the gray stitching. So it's got the the gray stitch gts on there and all the stitching matches that on the car alcantara steering wheel um, we've fully cleaned this interior with a special product which lifts out all of the the grease and dirt um, not that it was particularly like dirty or anything it's just that we like to refresh all of the interiors of our cars we spend on upwards of two days uh detailing each of these cars ready ready for the next new owner this car had about two days worth of work uh, machine polished the paintwork, waxed it as well with auto finish sole carnauba wax which is a fantastic product if you do like detailing your cars i would recommend using that the some really nice options on this it's got the hardback sport seats plus with heating as well so they've got the the heated seat button there uh, Cayman GTS door entry guards there as well. It's got the Bose system as well, which is 10 speakers, 445 watts. And um, it's got the auto dimming mirrors and auto wipers as well, and auto lights for those PDLS lights. It's got guards red keys as well, which look really lovely. Um, as I said, sport, uh, sport design Alcantara steering wheel, which is the preferred choice with the optional seven speed PDK. Um, that gearbox is fantastic, seven speeds, semi-automatic, so it'll work in full auto, full manual, or combination two, and you can use these paddles at any time 
that one to go up a gear, that one to go down, and you can also slide that across into manual. Um, let me just, actually, let me just start it up. You might as well hear it and how amazing it sounds with that sports exhaust. So there we go, it is fully heated up. It sounds beautiful. Uh, so as I was saying with the PDK, uh, that's normal drive and then you slide it across and then you can do down a gear, up a gear, like a, a rally car with a sequential gearbox or you can use the paddles which follow the steering wheel. Um, it has black dials, again to, mit, to match this sort of black interior. Very unusual and very rare option this car has which is the all of the trims are also flocked in black leather. So that's all these bits across all, that's not plastic, that is leather. That's another special option, all of this bit here. Uh, on most cars is either silver or people want, with GT to spec the carbon fiber interior. This one was spec with the sort of like extended, extended, extended black leather. So that's really nice to see on this car. Something a bit different and unusual and the, as, a, as a result, the dials were also spec in black as well to sort of match that look. And I, th I think it looks really nice in this car. It has the um, small um, compartment, optional compartment here, which is called the smokers package, um, which nicely finishes off that center console. A lot of people spec it not because they smoke, as you can see, it's never been smoked in, um, but to actually just nicely finish off that center console without having an open cubby which collects dust. So that's really nice. As I said, it's got this three stage heated seats. It's got the full climate control system. So a lot of these cars have just um, air conditioning, but this car has dual zone climate control, uh, which you can sync or you can uh, use each side individually, set the temperature and it will determine where to put the fans as well as how fast to put the fans. If it hasn't got the climate control, you've just literally got fan speed and a temperature, but without the digital readout there, it's just got fan speed and hot or cold. So that's a really nice optional feature on this car. Um, it also has the full sat nav system, full Bluetooth, Bluetooth with phone module, and it has the optional DAB as well and it has the jukebox which is 40 gigabytes of mp3s you can put in the car which you store you upload with a usb stick through on that usb there so that's a universal audio interface there so you can plug in a wired device or you can bluetooth stream as well your phone as well as taking phone calls so really useful system the maps are uk and europe so it has yeah the full The full sat nav system which is full postcode as well and with the with the DAB also you've got um, surround sound with uh, all of the different audio settings you've got here um, you can individually tailor your your bass and treble and whether you want it surround or not for every single input you don't have to sort of have it across the across the board it's got a CD DVD player as well uh, just there a sim card slot there as well um, and then it's got Sport Chrono Package Plus, so it has a, a stopwatch which, when not in use, works as a full clock. Um, and you control it through this screen here with this stalk here. Um, but in terms of the performance buttons, it's got, because it's got Sport Chrono Package Plus, it's got Sport, Sport Plus, switchable sport suspension, so it's 10mm lower than a car without that switchable suspension, switchable, uh, switchable exhaust, start stop. That's the, to put the spoiler up and down, that goes up itself. At, I think it's around 80 miles an hour on this car. Uh, you can turn the traction control off there as well. So you press that and then it engages the sport chassis. Um, sorry, just the, yeah, sport, sport chassis um, and sport plus, and it also shows there. You've also got launch control as well, which will show up here. So really nice. It's only covered 33, 595 miles. So the next service is due um, October 2026, the next major. The next minor is due October 2024. The next oil change is due October 2024 as well. And then you can scroll through all the different settings here. Uh, so it's got tire pressure, monitor, optional tire pressure monitoring as well and it's got Sport Chrono as I said, so when you start that, it will start this ticking. 
and then when you stop it, reset it, it will go to zero and then when you come out of the chrono menu, it will do, right, revert back to being a clock. It has the G-force meter as well and it shows you maximum Gs there. Um, so yeah, really nice control system that you get with these GTSs and all these 981s. I mean, it's incredible condition as you can see, no rips or tears. So it's got the Alcantara headlining as well. So I'll talk through the file. So we produce this file for every single car that we sell and it has a PDF which you can download off the website on the adverts. You'll see it on the right hand side on the desktop or you scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll also see a sales brochure as well for the car when it was new so you can compare it to um, all the different options that are available. This is a very high spec car. Um, I think I've mentioned everything here but I'll just go through if there's something I've missed. So this is all available to view. It's got the Sam Symposer system, so that means it, it will actually um, project some of the engine noise through into the cabin, depending on which mode you've got it on. So make it louder, you'll hear the engine more in Sport and Sport Plus. And the Sport and Sport Plus are, are great because they immediately um, change how the, the gearbox behaves, how the power steering behaves, it weights it up, the throttle sensitivity, also the PADM, the Porsche Active Drivetrain Mounts will also stiffen um, in those higher Sport and Sport Plus versus just having it in normal mode. Um, when you press Sport Plus as well, it will automatically make the suspension stiffer, but you can override it as well. Um, the exhaust, the sports exhaust is also slightly louder in the different modes as well. So let me just go back to this list, see if there's anything else I've missed from from here. There's nothing there. Oh, it's got the speed. It also shows you speed limits on on this screen here as you're driving. So that's another option that isn't normally spec. Um, so then uh, we've also plugged it into the full. Porsche diagnostic system. Um, it has a very good over rev range, just range one and two, which is absolutely normal. Last time it was anywhere near the red line was at 27,000 miles. It's now done 33,596, but when we did this check, it was 33,498. Um, it hasn't been clocked either because the average speed ties in with the engine hours and the mileage. And also the car confirms exactly what it is, VIN number, engine number, colors that kind of thing are all confirmed on the Porsche diagnostics it was supplied by Porsche Glasgow October 2014 service 2016 Porsche Sheffield 2018 Porsche Sheffield then since then it was Brooklyn so 2019 2020 and 2022 as well obviously HBI clearing it has all the um, invoices that we have are also in this folder as well as the full leather um, wallet that came with the car and all of the manuals, the ser original service book which is fully stamped, the two keys and everything it came with from you. I'll just show you that stuff in the front and then also in the rear that it has everything it should do. It's absolutely stunning condition. That's in great condition as well. The uh, fuel filler and everything nice and clean has all of its original factory stickers on the on the panels as well as it under the floor mat under the under the carpet the driver's seat is all confirmed as having the correct VIN as it should do so there is the front boot area has the optional um, boot protector which will come with the car uh, tire gel set of tools the warning triangle and then under here it's got a Porsche battery and it's got the tire compressor as well. So just in here, there's a tire compressor. Then at the back, you've got another huge boot area two areas there the the engines under that panel there but you can store stuff there you can actually get another net there if you wanted it to go in that section or you can move that net down um, it's got a 
sort of an obscure sort of panel there that sort of covers anything that's in that lower section. Stunning car, so striking in guards red and in absolutely fantastic condition. No stone chips at all on the car and um, always, as I said, always serviced by Porsche. So the the car's got the, the, G, the GTS has come with the 3.4 litre flat six, which in this guy's produced 335 horsepower or 340 PS. It will do 60 in around 4.2 seconds. Incredibly fast car. And it sounds absolutely glorious because it's the normally aspirated, naturally aspirated, non-turbocharged 3.4 litre flat six, which doesn't suffer any of the issues of earlier cars. So that's pre-2009, which is um, ball scoring, IMS bearing failures or RMS oil seal leaks. These cars are very, very reliable, which is why we sell them. This is uh, produced in October 2014 and um, very low mileage. So yeah ready for the new owner to enjoy as i said three previous owners and it has everything it should do from the factory it drives absolutely beautifully as well it's just been mot so it's got 12 months mot as well and uh, the next service isn't due and it's a minor service isn't due until october 2024 so if you are interested in the car please don't hesitate to get in touch thanks for watching